Los Angeles is home to the largest Armenian community in the U.S., so it's no surprise you can find some of the most delicious Armenian food here. This family-run restaurant has been making Monty together for 16 years, baking thousands of the meat-filled dumplings a day. And they hope to pass the tradition down to the next generation. You can find Manta or Monty on the menu at various Middle Eastern restaurants. This is the Armenian version. This is what I've grown up eating. This is how we've made it my entire life. But the dish itself, it's so ancient. It's so traditional that I always say it's a Middle Eastern European dish because you'll have a different version in Greece, a different version in Lebanon, a different version in Turkey, a different version in Armenia. Same dish, different variations. We used to do together 2,800. That was just when we started together. So now I can only, I can, uh, you, psh. Don't count anymore. Yeah, at this point <laughs> it's just above the 10,000s daily, easily, yeah. We use a ground beef and it's just marinated with a simple blend of herbs and spices. In each square you put a little pinch of beef. That gets folded as you can see my mother doing here. She's a pro at everything, at all of all steps, so. I do what she doesn't want to do in that time, and what, today it's putting the meat so she can fold, and other days it'll be folding so she can put the meat, and whichever one she prefers. When we first started, it was her and I side by side, working for like six hours a day, making manta, and then working another like eight hours running the shop. And that's where I learned. I used to be so slow in this, and now I race my mom. Each manta is tightly packed into a tray, frozen to keep fresh and oven baked when ordered. So now that they come out of the oven, they'll be topped off in your choice of tomato, tomato hot and spicy. Go ahead and hit it with a little bit of blend of herbs and spices. And last but not least, give it a nice dazzle of the garlic cream in our signature Monta M. Bam! Best part about the food is it, it's preference. So you can have them soft, you can have them crispy. These ones, the edges are nice and crispy. It's been drizzled with the sauce. You get a nice crunch on the edges, but the inside is nice and soft where the beef is. And then as soon as you bite into that shell, you get the explosion of beef flavor. The mint and sumac and red pepper gives big flavor on top of it. It's special. I don't know, it's good. You will try and you will see how good it is. <laughs> um, so you're not missing out. Hey! hey Peekaboo! You know? And here's our future generation that we were speaking of that we definitely want them to learn and know what this tradition is. And here's number two. See? And this is my sister right here. It's really important for me for the kids to learn these traditions. Growing up in diaspora, America, Los Angeles, they're gonna learn the culture of LA, but I want them to learn traditions and family and you know what their grandmothers and ancestors cooked. It's, it's important to, to keep our culture. Hello. <laughs> Evelina and her husband Grant left Armenia in the early 90s and started the family business in downtown LA, only to have their doors close a few months later. Then 16 years ago, the family decided to continue with the Monta dream and open a small 200 square foot shop in Pasadena where Grant and Sarkis usually work, and later expanded to Glendale. My great grandparents were from Ezrinka. Gars, Adana, Sis, and Vaughn. My grandparents, after the events of 1915, migrated outside of Armenia and they went to Lebanon, France, and Romania. And then when it all came back together, all those collective styles of cooking and those flavors and all those traditions came together as our family's recipes. When I was growing up, I had two grandma. One grandma was making open ones, the other one closed ones. I saw that maybe they were in different regions. But beside my two grandmas, I had my maternal grandfather's cousin from whom I learned how to open the dough and how to make all the food, how to make the syrups, how to make the fillings, and we call her Bibi. My father made this in Armenia from a walnut tree, and my mom is uh, keeping the spice, the mint and sumac and red pepper in there. This piece, we have it, so we are keeping like a treasure. These are treasure for me. Evelina's grandchildren are often at the shop with their family, learning how to make the dish themselves. <laughs> It's like a treasure for them. It's memory. 
I know nowadays change a lot. They don't pay attention to the memories, but for me it's important. I don't know. <laughs>